Hey everybody, I wanted to give you guys an update on the corona outbreak at work. Take my bra face off there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, if you recall, we had a bit of a panic video last night. They uh, announced, of course, yesterday that there was a corona case. Uh, which turns out to be only a few feet where she, from where she was working. Uh, they decided then to send us all home to uh, thoroughly clean and disinfect and deep clean, deep clean the entire facility. In fact, let me find you the text. The facility is currently undergoing deep cleaning and we plan to open tomorrow for first shift. This is a huge place, folks. Imagine every computer, every surface, every wall, railing, touch point, you know, touch pads, the fingerprint scanner, break room, bathrooms, all of it was going to be fogged and cleaned. Five hours later, they text us and say, it's done. And of course, none of us believe that shit. So, what I decided to do, uh, she decided to stay home today. And I went in for a couple hours this morning, uh, just out of pure morbid curiosity to see just what the fallout was going to be. Uh, I would like to know what they fogged this place with. Uh, this fog, this disinfectant, uh, strangely has no odor. Uh, it leaves no trace, leaves no residue. Uh, in fact, uh, my workstation looked exactly like I left it, including the dirt smudges that have been there for three months on the keyboard. Yeah. Deep cleaned. Uh, the bathrooms still had the same trash in them from yesterday. And after how many hours of chasing around the uh, the temporary company for answers, whether or not she was uh, exposed, uh, they're like, well, probably not. We kind of looked at the cameras and we didn't see anything. Really? So on those super high-tech security cameras, they can show exactly where that sneeze traveled. I, <clears throat> I don't think they're quite that good of a resolution. But then today, today, they sent us this. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. I had to cut that piece. Once I saw the final uh, render on the video, no, I had to cut the rest of it. Uh, basically, what happened was, uh, this afternoon, they sent us a link to a, an unlisted YouTube video which uh, basically was company team spirit yay yay us hardcore bullshit absolute hardcore bullshit uh, I can't show that right now maybe in the future I will show the original version of this video not right now things are a little uh, too iffy but basically uh, we knew from the moment they sent us home, this cleaning was bullshit. In fact, one third of the entire company called off today. I went home after a couple hours. I had seen enough. I went uh, just so I could make the report. No, there was no cleaning. There may have been cleaning of that particular station where this one person worked. Beyond that, nothing. I talked to people in every department I could find. Was your station cleaned? No. Um, I work in the shipping department. So when we left, um, we left orders in the middle, right? The, the labels were laying on the desk, waiting to be put on the box, right? So the label was laying on the desk. You get back the next day after the deep cleaning, the sanitizing of everything, and that label hasn't moved 
millimeter. Weird, huh? So, what we've decided to do is nothing. We're not going to quit, and we're not going to go to work yet. We're both feeling a little, little run down. I don't know if, you know, maybe the hard, you know, this spring has been really fucking hard in Ohio. It's one of the worst I've seen in a long time. I lived here for 12, 15 years, some shit like that. And this is normal. Uh, every once in a while you get a spring that is just hard, rainy, nasty, drizzly, oh my fucking God, just stop. That's why I went to South Carolina. Literally, this is why I went to South Carolina. <sighs> I'm a little calmer, a little more collected. Uh, this company that we work for does not care about people. 75 to 85 percent of all the employees are temporaries because temporaries are disposable. They don't want to build teams. They don't want to build long-term, you know, uh, very close-knit groups of people who can do the job very well and, you know, very long-term. Uh, some of the work, quite frankly, is mundane. What I do is not mundane. It is actually kind of interesting. What she does, very goddamn mundane. I can see why they need temporaries over there because every fucking day there's a new group coming through. And that's the problem. As it turns out, the corona case had only started at the company four days before that, before they uh, tested positive. Hmm. But that is four days where the rest of us were exposed to it. And this company does not want to take some simple basic steps like we have two front doors side by side two front doors one arm's broken they can't figure out how to fix it what this means is two-way traffic through a single door at shift change that sounds like a horrible idea in the fucking apocalypse they can't figure it out just could you just not install a new door? How about that? You see, the couple of hundred bucks that would cost, not worth the life of a temporary employee. We have two metal detectors. You know, the past, you got to walk through the metal detectors to walk in. Only one of them's open at a time for one-way traffic. One way this way, one way that way. Why? Just off the top of my head. Why can't we have a couple extra, well, I don't know, security guards with the little wandy things to make sure we don't take our cell phones into work? That's a thing. There's a reason for that. It has nothing to do with texting. It has to do with customer data, actually. Uh, that we could steal customer data on our phones and take it out. And proprietary software. They are terrified of that we will steal their proprietary software on our cell phones. Sp I'm really getting far off here, but instead of preventing all the incoming traffic while, like, say, shift change, all right, at this time, everybody's leaving. You are not allowed to enter the building for this period of, like, seven minutes while everyone is exiting. We cannot use both metal detectors. Result, we all group up together trying to get the fuck out of the building. And then you've got to wait at the front turnstiles to badge out and then you've got to all filter through one fucking door again all of us grouping together because they care about you they're trying to save you that two hundred dollars that it would cost to fix that other fucking door we're going to kind of uh, self-quarantine ourselves here for as long as we can to make sure that we're okay before we head out and do anything else i hope you guys are having more fun than i am with this fucking apocalypse worst apocalypse ever you can't even shoot the fucking zombies well thanks for watching me rant and rave about uh, this stupid fucking company and I will see you guys in the next video if it ever warms the fuck up in Ohio you can't tell how cold it is out there look 
That is really. You see, it's really windy though. So it's windy, rainy, cold, nasty. We can't even go out and dig holes in the ground. I'm stressed. I'll see y'all later.